Hello, I'm Darwin. In this video, I will show you how we can use the Tile Interface Planner to help place Intel F-Tile component IPs. Here's our agenda in this tutorial. First, we will go through an overview of the IP building blocks inside an F-Tile architecture. Next, we will go through an actual Tile Interface Planner demo to show how a tile plan is created. And lastly, we will demonstrate how we can use the tool to make incremental placements within the F-Tile when we add new IPs in our existing design. Let's start by doing an overview of what's inside an f architecture to give us a good perspective on the blocks being placed when we start using the tool. These are the main building blocks for each f -tile. On the left side, we have 4 quads of FGT PMAs for a total of 16 general purpose SERDIs which can run from 1 up to 58 gigabit per second. To complete the 20 PMAs in one tile, we have the 4 high-end FHT PMAs which can run from 24 up to 116 gigabit per second. The rate speed for all depends if they are configured for NRZ or PAM4. On the right side of the tile is the Embedded Multi-Die Interconnect Bridge or EMIB. An EMIB connects a stream in the F-Tile to the FPGA core. We have a total of 24 EMIB streams, and each stream can be mapped to one or more hard IPs. Below you will see the clock networks connecting the reference clock pins to the FGT and FHT PMAs. The clock network is also accessible by all enabled digital blocks and are driven by a clock from either the PMA or one of the three system PLLs. In the middle are the high-end hard IPs that form the main building blocks for the F-Tile. First is the 200 gig Ethernet hard IP, which can include a PCS and an FEC. This 200 gig hard IP connects to the eight general purpose SERDIS of the PMA. If you need a Mac or require a bandwidth greater than 200 gig, you can use the 400 gig Ethernet hard IP, which also has a PCS and an FEC. This Ethernet block can connect to either the 16 general purpose SERDIS or the four high-end SERDIS of the PMAs. The two hard IPs are also fully fracturable that the 400 gig Ethernet link, for example, can be used as four copies of 100 gig Ethernet, or a mix and match of copies of different Ethernet speeds all in one configuration. Together, the two IPs can also be combined for a total of 600 gigabit per second of Ethernet capability. Lastly, the FTI also have a PCIe hard IP block which connects to the 16 FGT PMAs. The IP has four cores that makes it possible to support PCIe configurations using different required number of lanes. The f allows flexible mixing of Ethernet, PCIe, and PMA Direct within the confines of set topologies. The topologies determines what combinations are available and which transceivers connect to which block. With this overview on the building blocks of the F-Tile, we are now ready to place the IP components and then implement the tile plan assignments to be used for synthesis or simulations. Let's start with an example of integrating a 200 gig Ethernet that will connect to 8 PMAs. In order to do this, you need to get an F-Tile Ethernet hard IP component and configure it to 25 gig. Then instantiate the IP 8 times within your top design file. With this, we are now ready to make the tile plan for this block by first invoking our Quartus tool. To make a tile plan, we start after running IP generation on our compilation dashboard. When using an F-Tile IP, a new compile stage called Support Logic Generation is added to facilitate the F-Tile flow. The first thing we need to do is run design analysis. This will elaborate your design and extract information about the target device and your component IP used by the F-Tile flow. After design analysis, we can now launch our Tile Interface Planner. The tool initializes the placement legality engine and loads all the information extracted by design analysis. 
Initialization enables the flow control stages that you need to follow step by step to create your tile plan. The next step is to view the assignment which opens the assignment tab. This stage will allow you to load any previous placement done which is currently empty since this is the first time you are making the tile plan. We can then proceed to update plan with this initial setting. Now click on the plan design to open the plan tab so we can start placing our component IP. Zooming in, we will see a single F-tile architecture under chip view. You have the EMIV on the right side, the 400 gig Ethernet hard IP, the 200 gig hard IP, the PCIe, and the general purpose and high-end PMAs on the left side of the tile. This side of the plan tab shows the design elements and building blocks in your design hierarchy that are either placed or unplaced, depending on the status of your design. To start placing in an F-tile, just select the instances and click on the double arrow button beside the IP. This will then generate all the F-tile locations where you can place your IPs. Select the tile location where you want your IPs to be placed. You will then see the IMIBs, the 25 gig EHIP, and transceiver blocks placed in the tile selected. Initial placements are by default movable to give the user the flexibility to choose specific locations for your IP instance. You have the option to either move the EHIP or the transceiver. Moving either of the blocks will move the whole connected stream of EMIB, EHIP, and transceiver blocks. You will also see two separate blocks on each group of EHIP and transceiver. This indicates the transmit and receive blocks in your design. To find all legal locations for your EHIP on the tile, find your EHIP instance and click on the double arrow button beside it. You can then scan through the locations to select the placement. For most designers, it might be prudent to move locations using the transceiver which are associated with pin names. Again, you can use the chip viewer to specify the transceiver you want to move. Generate the legal locations in the tile and select the location. You will then see the color change on the block, changing its property from movable to fixed. If you're not satisfied on a fixed location, the tool allows you to change the fixed location back to movable by right-clicking on a design element and choosing Make Selected Elements Movable. The property information below will also give you the link design cells on your design elements. For the transceiver, this will show you the pin name of the transceiver and clicking again will give you the pin location and then back to the transceiver block. For this design, I will allow the tool to find the best placement for all the instances in one time. To do that, I will emplace everything first to free up all the allocations we just reserved to some of our blocks. Choose the top design and generate the legal locations. Select the tile desired, and that should give you the best placement for all instances in one time. If you are at the initial stages of your design, you can leave all the placements movable since you still don't care where transceiver pins are going to be placed. If that is the case, every time you compile, there is a possibility that blocks are going to be moved from one legal location to another. For this example, I want to fix all the placements to give me an idea on the transceiver pins that are going to be used. Besides, I can still move them next time if I'm not satisfied on the location given. To do that, just choose the top where all the blocks are instantiated. Right-click and choose Make Child Elements Fixed. The package view on the right will also give you an idea on the transceiver IOs and pin placements.
and again, the property info will show the link design cells, which can lead you back to the transceiver PME blocks of your design. After placing all f -tile IPs, you are now ready to save your tile plan. Save your assignments, and the QSF file will be updated to add the fixed placements. The Assignments tab will also show you all the design elements that are going to be fixed. We can now close the Talent Phase Planner to proceed to the next stage in our compilation. Now that the tile plan is ready, go back to the Quartus Compilation Dashboard and start logic generation. This uses the constraints you just made and will create the configuration info needed for each tile to implement the desired tile plan that can be used for synthesis. Once it's done, you are now ready to execute the next stages of your compilation. What if your team decides to add another F-Tile IP on the next version of your design? The next part of the demo is to show what you can do if your team decides to add a 400 gig Ethernet connecting to 8 PMAs in your design in the same tile. In this design, we are constrained to using a device with a single F-Tile. The same way, just configure the 850 gig IPs and instantiate by adding them to your original design. And then make updates to your tile plan by going through the same process and invoke the tile interface planner again. Once inside the tile interface planner, view the existing assignments that you have from the 200 gig tile plan. This will show you all your fixed assignments in your QSF. Update plan to load these assignments. And start plan design again. Let's view the hierarchy to show all the F-Tile IP instances we have on the design. As you can see, we have the 825 gig IPs already placed, while the newly added 50 gig IPs of the 400 gig Ethernet is still unplaced. Let's now try to check the legal locations for the additional IPs. The legality engine didn't find a location for the 850 gig IPs on the same tile. Why? It is because the new group of IPs will require a 400 gig Ethernet hard IP block. And the problem is, the fixed 25 gig IPs are already occupying the 400 gig hard IP block. What we can do is make them movable again by emplacing them. The best way to do is to go back to View Assignments tab and disable all fixed constraints in the project. Then click Update Plan again. Go back to Plan Design, and as you can see, all IP instances are now unplaced. Let's try generating all legal locations now for all child IPs under top in the same tile. Now a legal placement is found for all the old and new IP components. Let's place the IEPs again by selecting the tile where we want them placed. And there we have it. The 850 gig IPs are on the 400 gig hard IP block, while the 825 gig IPs are now placed on the 200 gig hard IP block. Review all placements, especially the pin locations. And make them fixed through the top design if everything is good. Now that all of them are fixed placed, it's time to save assignments to update the QSF file on your fixed locations. Let's go back to the compilation dashboard for the logic generation stage. Execute logic generation again to implement the updated plan that can be used for synthesis or simulations. You are now ready to synthesize your design with your 600 gig Ethernet F-Tile block. The following documents are available for request at the Intel Resource and Design Center. 
check the Tile Interface Planner user guide to know more details about the tool. The FTAL Architecture and PMA and FEC Direct Phi user guide can show you more about the FTAL architecture, the FTAL building blocks, as well as the FTAL placement rules. Thank you for watching.